Welcome to the call like I don't see a podcast where we talk about movies, comics, games, sports, and alien vegan fingernails. I am GP. And I am Max. My beautiful, lovely wife is co-hosting with me on this episode of the show. Yes, yes. Hello, hello. I am back. Again. Again. What up, peoples? What up, people? What's up, Max? Nothing. How was your... I'm a little tired. How was your week, though? My week? Mm-hmm. Oh, my, my week was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your my week. week. My week? Your week? You talking about Monday through Friday? <laughs> yeah, I thought about that, though. No, that, what that is, days? All the weekend? Which one? All of it. My week. My week's been pretty good and interesting at the same time. I've been learning some, tackling some DIYs this week. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Okay. And that's been pretty interesting. I'm finding out that some things I could do myself and some I can't. Some you just can't. Some I just can't. Also, you can't do everything all at once. Yeah. I'm learning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But anyway, mm-hmm. how was your week? My week was pretty cool. Awesome. It was a regular work week, you know. <laughs> regular work week? Regular work week. Nothing exciting happened? No. Man. But I have some um, issues I like to discuss. Oh, no. We haven't finished It Takes Two. It Takes Two? Yeah. You forgot the game that we were supposed to play? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I said this on the podcast. <laughs> I said... Let's not stop. You did, but I kind of got busy with my DIYs. Mm-hmm. And DIYs. I have a, a million things going on at once. Mm-hmm. So I try yeah. to squeeze it in when I can. That's all right. It's cool. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Other than that, um, nothing really big happened this week. We were just chilling and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. AD, if you're looking for AD, AD is uh, on hiatus. Mm. If you haven't noticed, you know, Mm-mm-mm. sad, but it's, it's so sad that I could have been doing a DIY right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, no <problem>. Thanks, AD. <laughs> I love it when you're not here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anywho, mm. um, it is time for. Call it out. Call it out. Bow, 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 bow. Call it out. Bow, bow, bow. Call it you out. You have a call it out for this episode. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So my call it out. I'm calling out the mowing companies. The mowing companies. I don't know. Landscapers, whatever you want to call them. I'm mm. calling them out. Mm. Okay? Because listen, on weekends, that is my time to sleep in. Okay, I don't appreciate y'all showing up at eight, seven, and eight o'clock in the morning on Saturdays Mm. and Sundays, and that's all I hear. Mm. My only day to sleep in, and you're here. Mm -hmm. I work. I have to get up. Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. And you're here on Saturday and Sunday at 7 a.m. I'm calling you out. Can y'all show up at 10 next time? 10 or 11 11 at least. I know I can't get a 12. So 10 or 11 would be ideal. So I can get a little bit more sleep. Thanks, buddies. Mm. So I'm calling them out. Come later Mm -hmm. all i hear is banging and mowing and all kind of noise okay weed whacking weed whacking trucks pulling up boop 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 i'm opening one eyeball at this point red eyeball at that red eyeball (laughs) <laughs> and at this point there's no going back no i can't go back, back to sleep mm-hmm. i might as well come out there and help y'all <laughs> might as well because uh, well. we, it's done yeah but yeah that's my call it out all right well my call it out is um the dceu or whatever you whatever it is right now mm-hmm. for canceling a movie that you 
already created, mm-hmm. edit and post. Well, not post, but edit out. Just made, completely made, and then you just shelving it. That's a waste. It's a waste. It's a ninety million dollar waste. Whoa, bad girl. So you mean nobody's getting paid for this either? They're getting paid, but you created something that no nobody going to see. Wow, I wonder why. Because DC's is changing that whole. Well, we, you'll find out in the quick bits, but mm, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so call a butts out for call that. it out, man. Because I want to if I'm. If I made something that I put my heart and soul in Mm -hmm. and a company decides to cancel it, that's unfair. Yeah. Or maybe maybe they felt it wasn't ready or it wasn't good enough. Maybe the people will say if it's not good enough. Well, that's true. So what if it was good? Yeah. What if it was decent? Right. Let you the know, people decide. Let the people decide. Gotcha. Yeah. So call it out. Call them out. Call it out. <laughs> DC, EU, or cinematic stuff. That's in the cinematic universe? That's in the cinematic universe. So there's cinematic. Bad Girl? Bad Girl, DC. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know, we ain't talking about MCU. Oh. We talking about the D. The DCU. <laughs> the DCEU, I guess. Oh my anyway, gosh. Um, we got a joint call it out as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely need to call them out on this. If y'all listen, call we calling out Sonic. Sonics. And not the hedgehog either. <laughs> I'm talking about The fast Sonic. food restaurant. Yeah, the one you drive through. Mm-hmm. And you think you're going to get one of them delicious milkshakes. Mm-hmm. And they pulled a McDonald's on us. They pulled the McDonald's. They said the machine was broke. The machine was broke. Now, what time did we... This was about 9 p.m. 9 p.m. I'm expecting my shake. Mm -hmm. When the guy... Sir, when you came on the intercom, I knew you were going to say that the milkshake machine was broken. I felt it. First of all, we was trying to get that churro cinnamon milkshake mm-hmm. that I desperately wanted. Went oh oh, not to mention we drove to two. Two. One is one um Closed under construction down. or whatever. And then decided how bad do we really want this sonic shake? Uh since we out. Since we, we out we, you might as well just go to the next one. Drove to the next one. And just for them to say, what did he say exactly? (laughs) I'm about to say it in his voice. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, big bruh. Big bruh. What? That's how you talk to customers? Chick-fil-A would never. Chick-fil-A would never. I'm sorry to disappoint you, big bruh, but. The machines are broken. We just spilled milk all over the floor. Milk what? all milk all over the place. They man. just just when we showed up, mm-hmm. it just happened. So you got a flood of milk inside the restaurant just when we show up. But you know what? That's okay though. Because guess where we went? Well we Chick Chick fil A, baby. Within the last eight minutes. Was able to catch Chick Fil A. They didn't close the line. They had a hundred cars already there. They had a hundred cars, and we, we got out in like five three minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and had delicious milkshakes. Right. So you're lost, Sonic. That's you're on lost. You. That's on you. Get it together. Get it together. Calling y'all butts out. Hmm. Yeah, and, and y'all owe us some gas money. Yeah, that too. So step. Hmm. And not in the name <laughs> of love, neither. <laughs> And that's our call it outs for this week. And that's the call it out for the week, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vegan bride. Uh Uh-oh. A woman who is a vegan and also getting married expressed her rage after her soon-to-be husband decided to get rid of every vegan food option on their wedding menu. Mm -hmm. Without telling her, the bride says she had her family follow this plant-based diet and had at least... 
four or five vegan dishes on the menu. Her fiance and his mother change all of that. Wow. And said that the vegan eaters can eat just salad instead. <laughs> Claiming vegan food is not really food. Oh. But they had other options for the meat eaters. Wow. She had other options for the meat eaters. So she had both. Yeah. So it was supposed to be vegan options for the vegans and, and meat. Well, other options for, for the, meat the meat eaters. eaters. Yeah. So instead of the husband keeping it that way, he decided, they decided that vegan food is not real food. Right. Him and his mama. Oh. So I don't know who put her in charge. His mom probably talked him into it. Right. And said, no. But man, why? I, I I don't understand that. I think that's fair to have a variety of food for different people's needs. And one, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to a wedding, I mainly really go for the food too. Like mm -hmm. that's number two. Okay. On the list. Right. Food. Food, baby. You mean to tell me if I'm vegan, you want me to just eat salad? Mm-hmm. You really? You that much of a vegan hater? Right. That's what I'm. A, that's what you should call it. Them a vegan hater because listen, just because it's vegan food don't necessarily mean you you don't have you have to have like fake meat. You could have said macaroni for them or like spinach dips. Like there's other things besides like what they're calling fake food that vegans eat. So I understand if she talking about like Beyond Burger and all this stuff like, no. Nah, but this that ain't your wedding, ma'am. Sit mm -hmm. down. I feel like she was starting stuff on purpose. Already in. Why marriage. would you eliminate all of the menu for vegans? She, she trying to cause some trouble. I think so. And I think if I remember that story correctly, that family, her and her, the bride's family. Um, all went vegan because of health issues. That too, yeah. So that's even more a slap in the face because you know they're doing this for health reasons being vegans. The majority of her family is vegans. Mm -hmm. And you're going to remove the items mm -hmm. on the list? Yeah. I'm sorry, but um, we ain't going through with the wedding at this point. <laughs> that reception going to be a vegan... <laughs> non-vegan food fight <laughs> no matter how you put it somebody was gonna somebody be in the throwing fight. fake burgers fake burgers <laughs> plant-based spinach grass <laughs> <laughs> i got hit in the eye with plant-based grass i got hit in the eye with a fake wiener oh my gosh <laughs> but I'm I'm sausage anyway <laughs> Okay. All right. So, but that, that is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We would have had to, I'm, do you know if like she found out at the wedding or this was like, she just found out behind his later, like before the wedding that he changed it. She found out probably before the wedding. Yeah. But see, in that case, she have time to change it back. But she got time wrong to that. also not marry this dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because if you could do that, if you're willing to do that, and I mean, it's kind of like you don't respect your wife's, well, fiance's decisions. Or... But the weird thing is that they didn't, they wasn't fighting. They didn't bicker with like decisions on the wedding at all until this. Mm. So I'm thinking this. The, so it's just that one thing. I think it's the mama. Yeah, they could work through that. Mama probably uh, put him up to it mm -hmm. and he went through with it yeah so ba you know what i'm thinking too she wanted more options of real food you know what i'm saying like they right. they had four or five options of vegan mm -hmm. but she wanted that to be all like meat eater food right i wonder how many what kind of options they have for the meat eater, meat eaters right so I was like, you don't like, this is my wedding. If you don't like the menu, don't come. I'll bring your own stuff, food to eat in a um, container. B-Y-O-F. Are you, are you paying for this? No. Therefore, you will eat what I provide or bring your own. Mm -hmm. 
calm down. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're pointing start, at the money. Yeah, I know. I'm taking it personal now. <laughs> I'm putting myself in her in, in her shoes as right. if I were there. Right. <laughs> but if it was say say I was a meat eater, mm-hmm. which I am, and <laughs> I went to something like this where it was all vegan food, I wouldn't be mad if I'm I'm just I try it. Yeah. You know? Doesn't yeah. mean that, you know, I'm gonna be There's something there that you it. could eat. Right. But in this case, it's not even all vegan food. It's yeah. a couple of options. Right. So you need to compromise mm-hmm. and eat what you eat and let them eat what they they eat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you want to um, call this one right then and there? Yeah, we just going to call it then before I go in on them. Okay. Well, call it then. Right. Moving on. Right. Moving on. So... Um, a 63-year-old woman, Miss Diana Armstrong from Minnesota, has recently broken the Guinness World Records for the largest, I'm sorry, the longest fingernails on a female as well as the longest fingernails on a pair of hands mm. ever. Wow. So they basically putting her in two categories, like mm. female. Mm-hmm. And hands in the mm. world. Mm. <laughs> so she sounds like one of Wolverine's uh, love interests from. Uh, oh, Japan. she she's past Wolverine status. Her um, nail length combined is forty-two feet mm-hmm. and ten inches. Mm. So she's got Wolverine uh, out out she, the wall. Her nails are taller than some people. Exactly. They actually stand tall as her. Wow. Almost as tall as her. Let me let me take that back. Wow. So she stated that um, she has an interesting story, <clears throat> excuse me, as to why she uh, grew her nails so long. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically her daughter, uh, her daughter died, her 16 year old daughter died. Uh, died Mm -hmm. um, from an asthma attack in her sleep Mm -hmm. and her daughter is um, her daughter usually does her nails Mm -hmm. and um, she was the last one to do them so the her her daughter's death affected her so bad that she vowed not to ever cut them again Mm. So her growing these nails is basically like an honor to her daughter, a memory, a dedication, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, I I understand that I'm just wondering, like, how does she does, how does she do her daily activities with these nails? Like wipe a butt or Mm -hmm. like wash your hair. Yeah. Or. Take a bath. Cook. Clean. Clean. She Mm -hmm. says that she does most of her activities or Mm -hmm. duties um, by using her feet. Using her feet? Yeah. Hmm. So she's like, she can pick... She can pick up money, dollar bills if it falls on the floor. But if she was to drop coins, of course, she cannot pick up Mm. that. Okay. And I'm like, I'm wondering how is this even possible to grow nails that long? I can't even get my nails to grow uh, 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 two inches. I don't know how they didn't break. That too. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of miracle whip. (laughs) (laughs) Mayonnaise. I don't know what they Mm -hmm. put on their nails to grow them that long. What's those pills you take called? What Hairs, you? biotin. Biotin. She probably. But that's got... for the hair. You talking about like hair, skin, and nail vitamins. But what's what's this called? Hair, skin, and nail vitamins. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it's not biotin. Biotin is mostly regarding hair. Oh, okay. So I don't know what specific vitamin is used for nails. I don't know. I don't know how she. But they're strong. Yeah. They're like wood they're like sticks bamboo sticks my god bamboo is really strong she can i mean she look 
it's when I saw the pit when I heard the story I was like what and then when I saw her picture I was like you know she looked pretty cool though she looked like she could be in a Wakanda movie the Wakanda movie mm, she looked like one of the the the, the they could have put the, her in, in the there section yeah. yes mm-hmm. so she says that it takes about four to five hours to polish her nails um sometimes three to four days depending on the design wow it also takes up to 15 to 20 bottles of nail polish to paint her nails mm. and so she says she hasn't cut her nails since 1997 mm-hmm so that's about twenty five years. How, 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 how? Yeah. So what happens when and if one nail actually breaks? I, I don't think they could break. I don't. Mm. I, like I'm literally looking at her nails. Like these things would have to be sawed off. Mm. They're that strong. Mm. I she can eat. I saw her. She actually doesn't use like she uses the palm of her hand to eat, oh. while the nails just stand there. Yeah, like I don't. Like, I don't I'm think talking I about in between. It. Like not break as a whole. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, break as a whole. Like like break from her fingertip. That I I don't understand and that I just, either. I don't know. But they're so strong. They're like tree branches. Mm. And so when you see her and look at how she dresses, how she, you know, um, puts it all together, like she'll have the colors matching or blending in with what she's wearing. It looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I understand you know the reason for it Mm -hmm. and that's how that's what what's helping her you know heal and stay connected to her daughter but i just don't it's a big dedication that's a big dedication you know some people get tattoos or they have a certain item Mm -hmm. that they would keep that they loved one had or loved but to grow your nails to change your life right Drastically. Drastically. But congratulations to her. Yes. Sh- big shout out to Shout her. out to you, you know, for winning and breaking that record, Miss Diana Armstrong. Mm-hmm. And we don't call it on that unless you have anything else. That's it. That's all. We call it right then and there. Well, call it then. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, Max. Hold on for quick bits. Quick bits. Oh. Oh. Real news. Real, real high. High. CW, the CW show The Flash mm-hmm. is ending in season nine. Oh no. Oh no. That's my show. That was our show. Barry. Run, Barry. I love Run. that Flash. Yeah, it was cool, Flash. But <laughs> it got whack <laughs> as the seasons went on. But yeah. anyway, it was it was it, nine seasons is enough. And congratulations yeah, that is a long to, time. to all of those. That's involved in that show. Flash. Goodbye, <laughs> Flash. Yeah. Goodbye, Flash. Anyway. Not quite back. HBO Max and Discovery Plus will merge into a single streaming service. Wow. So, I'm trying to figure out what would that be like with Discovery channel this Would it be like a whole bunch of Shark Week stuff mm. within um, HBO Max? Yeah. Would anything change? The just name. all just new stuff will come in because you know this is one of the reasons why they canceled Black uh, Black <laughs> Bad Girl because they're merging into this new company now, mm-hmm. and so I guess they feel that Bad Girl wasn't useful enough. But they could have put it on HBO Max. Yeah, that one could have been the perfect thing to just boom, boom, put it to HBO Max. Right. Let people, everybody watch it. Call it around. Call it around. Right. Call anyway, it then. Call it then. <laughs> Next quick bit. Jake Gyllenhaal will star in Roadhouse remake for Amazon Prime. You oh. remember Roadhouse? No. Patrick Swayze? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know who Patrick Swayze is. But you'll remember Roadhouse. No. It was a classic movie where he was like the, the I guess the, 
security guard at this bar or something like that. Mm. But anyway, um, yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal is repri- reprising the role as that character. A great I don't head. think it should be none. Mm. I think she keep it as original. If it was a, you know how I am about classics. Yeah. Don't touch them, right. especially if it was good. Mm-hmm. So like, leave it alone because mm-hmm. when they mess with it, that's when you'd be like, you are you of course gonna compare it, right? And of then course. you're gonna end up not liking it, right? I don't think you're gonna ever. I well, I haven't heard anybody ever say like, oh, this new one was better than the original, right? No. I never saw no, no. You ever heard of? You ever no. seen? I seen I seen good remakes, but it it's not as good as the original. So say for example, like we were watching these episodes of Men in Black. Mm-hmm. And all of those is like, you know, the ones with Will Smith and fa- but this one with Thor. And Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson. Chris What's... Hemsworth, yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. International. No. No. They it... could have left that alone. Yeah. That's why it, it didn't do good. Yeah. Because that's Marvel. You're mm-hmm. watching a Marvel movie, You they just were dressed in black suits. Right. So, so leave the classics alone. Yeah, or just get new people to do it. Right. And keep it a, a sequel. No remakes. Even though that wasn't a remake, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. I see what you're saying. All right. Next quick bit. Next quick bit. This is from AD. Um, Joker 2. Foley Adults. Adus. Foley Adus. Foley Adus. Sound like well, sound like a uh, uh, French to me. <laughs> will release in theaters October fourth, twenty twenty four. Joaquin Phoenix and Lele Guga. Oh wow, Lady Gaga. Yeah, she would be um, Harley Quinn. Lady Gaga. Yeah, Lady Gaga. Oh. I say I should say Guga on purpose, but she could make a yeah. She would make a good Harley Quinn. I see it. You think so? Yeah. Mm. She she's calmed down a little bit, but that's her personality. A little Harley Quinn when she first came out, she was that look that mm-hmm. you know her attitude. I could see it. I know where you was going with that. I didn't know where I was like. What? Anyway. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> and now we talking these sports. Uh-oh. Uh, Deshaun Watson will serve a six-game suspension for violating the NFL's personal conduct policy following accusations of sexual misconduct. Mm-mm-mm. Yep. You in trouble. Yeah. You got suspension. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to play. Yeah. Stop all that sexual <laughs> harassment. <laughs> On the job, buddy. Don't get any more massages, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Okay. And that was good. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Max. Yes. We're doing a top five this week. Of what? Top five TV game show. Yay. All right. But before then, we got um, some... Folks, you know, commented on their favorites. Their favorites are top, the top five. fives. Mm-hmm. Who we got? So, um, MC Paper Stacks from Player Two has entered the podcast. Shout out has well, he didn't do a top five, but he said guts. Um, you remember that Nickelodeon show Guts? No, no. I've never heard of that. I was. The name sounds familiar, but I don't know. You know, like it's one of those things where you have to see it and mm-hmm. then like you're like, oh, I remember that. Yeah. So it's kind of like that in my head. Like, mm-hmm. oh, that's what you're talking about. Right. The acro crag. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't remember that. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> AD, shout out. Shout out. He said, um, number five, Price is Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Price is right. Nice. I like that um that pingo. You remember that you know the game yeah. price is right the pingo go, 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 go. Yeah. I like that's my favorite one. If I was on Price <laughs> is Right, I would demand that as the my game. Uh number four, Jeopardy. 
<laughs> Number three, who wants to be a millionaire? Mm. Yeah. I like uh, when Regis was doing it. Yeah. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Anyway. <laughs> uh, number two, uh, Nickelodeon's Figure It Out. Figure It Out. You ever heard that? Figure It Out? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. And number one, who line is it anyway? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorites, that's, too. That's our favorites. One of our favorites, yeah. Yeah. Um, we nice. watch. We watched the one with, uh, what's her name? Aisha Tyler. Yeah. Aisha. And Drew Carey. Yeah, Drew Carey, yeah. He was the yeah. first one. Well, he was the second one. They had one in... Before um, him? The f- one in overseas. It was the first oh, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you ain't watching I ain't watching during that time. You ain't watch that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we watched the current one with Aisha Tyler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so who, you, you want to go first or I go? Uh, you go first. Ladies okay. first. So, mine would be most recently, number five, I picked To Tell the Truth. To Tell the Truth. With Anthony Anderson. Yeah. That show is pretty cool and funny. Uh-huh. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Check it out. My mama Doris, shout out. <laughs> um, four is Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Love Wheel of Fortune. Um, three was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Mm-hmm. Number two is Family Feud. Mm-hmm. And number one is The Price is Right. The Price is That's Right. It's my favorite of all time. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be on that show. Saw mm-hmm. myself. They picked. That's my number. That's my <laughs> number on number. Two, two, one, three, five. <laughs> <laughs> Act surprise. Run down the steps. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so yeah, Price is Right. Number yeah. One. Okay. And yours, sir. All right. Um, number five. It's not in order. Really. Okay. But number five, The Floor Is Lava. The oh yeah. Netflix show we watch. Uh, number four, To Tell the Truth. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, number three, Twenty Five Words or Less. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. That was a cool show. I like that show. Yeah. Midnight type of mm-hmm. uh, game show. Uh, number two, supermarket sweep. <laughs> yeah, I just like them running on the aisles and trying to catch stuff and hurry up, bring it back, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number one, I had Family Feud. Yeah, with Steve Harvey. Family Feud, classic. Classic. Classics. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all of these top fives was some good. Sh- Survey, say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they ever gonna like replace Steve. You think? I don't. I don't know who could like fill that 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 spot. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like I would. It's be gonna looking be at, weird. Yeah. Yeah. I would be. You know, they replace different hosts, but it's mm-hmm. kind of like on shows. And they had a whole bunch of previous hosts before him. Yeah. But he's so good at it now. Mm-hmm. It's hard to replace. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I have some honorable mentions. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Go. Um, Hollywood Game Night. Love it. Love it. Legend of the Hidden Temple. I don't know what that is. Nickelodeon show. <laughs> uh, Double Dare. Double Dare. I know you what that is. You remember that one, Nickelodeon yeah. show. Will of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. The Price is Right. Mm-hmm. Wipeout. Wipeout. Love Wipeout. Love Wipeout. Wipeout is funny. Mm-hmm. I like to see people bounce <laughs> off stuff. And Fall. Look like they're about the to break water. their heads. Yeah. Nice. Nice shout out. Yeah. That was our top five game shows. Yep. Moving on. Moving on. We have a review, right? Yes, we do. Of the movie Prey. Mm hmm. Okay. So basically, Mm -hmm. are we doing spoilers or. Spoiler alert. Is it a spoiler alert? It it possibly could be. We'll, We'll try not to, but. Well, I'm going to just talk about it. If Let's you, put it up in case. Spoiler just alert. Just in case. Spoiler alert. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, Prey is a movie that was set in 1719 mm-hmm. in the Great Northern Plains. Okay, so the origin, of the, the origin of the story of the predator in the world of the Comanche. I hope I'm saying that right. 
Comanche, Comanche I think. nation yeah. 300 years ago. Mm -hmm. Set before the first predator. 200 yeah. and some odd years before the first predator. For a long time. Yeah. So, uh. Um, before I oh, know that. Wow. And, uh, Nari, who is a young Comanche woman. Mm hmm. Um, wants she, to be. She, she wants to be a hunter like her brother. Mm -hmm. She aspires to be a hunter, but she's training, um, to be. She was trained to be a healer. Mm -hmm. um, instead of a hunter. So basically in their town, the women are gatherers. The women are the gatherers, mm -hmm. gatherers of the food, gatherers of the medicine, medicine, you know, plants, herbs, things like that. Spaces. While the men are the hunters, mm -hmm. right? So she didn't really see herself as a gatherer. She didn't want to be that. So she wanted to be um a hunter like her brother mm -hmm. so she and she's good at it too she's she's very good at it yeah she can she can track she can she can sense she she's super smart and a warrior too she can fight definitely yeah and um so she wanted to be a, a hunter and basically prove herself you know so she she goes along on this um trip with the 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 pack you know her brother and the pack mm-hmm and so what they think is like a thunderbird no actually i'm sorry let me go back Let's, yeah you're going into spoiler going, territory yeah the predator shows up and changed the game in who's the hunter and who's the prey right aspect of their world mm -hmm. so um so they they initially initially plan to basically kill something else. I don't want to say what it is to, as a spoiler, mm -hmm. but it's it's basically the predator yeah. as well. Well, it's a predator as well. Mm -hmm. What did you like about this movie? Um, what I liked about it is that, well, I would say more about Naru mm -hmm. is that like her determination. To like prove herself to her her family, mm -hmm. to prove herself to their um, what do you call them community? <laughs> yeah, tribe. <laughs> tribe, yeah, to her tribe. You know that she can, women can break barriers. You right. know, there you go. Like it's not just a man that can, you know, do this. That women should be able to be uh, hunters as well. Mm -hmm. Because she didn't, even though, like, basically, what's wrong with doing it all? Right. Why can't she be a hunter and a healer? Yeah. Why Don't can't she be, stop some, there? be whoever you want to be? Exactly. When you try to be, when you can be. Listen, I give kudos to her because I, if I was in her situation, I would have just ran. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> these were some brave little soldiers, okay? Because these are, they were young and they're out there. I don't know if they were trained at a young age, you know, to be like. They look pretty trained. They look like they they've been out. ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they were fearless. Mm -hmm. And that's what I loved about all of them. Like they knew when, especially the guys, like they knew when they saw Predator. In my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, he's not going to beat this Predator. But they were still with their little uh, bow and arrows. The smartest <laughs> one was that dog. That dog was like, Whoo! the dog. Yes, yeah. that was like the. That was a cool dog. Mm hmm. Um, I think this is one of the best Predator films in the series so far. I like the time period that focused on this Native American tribe. I dig the main character and her problems with, like you said, being trying to be. Who she wants to be. Uh, the pacing was okay. I like the fact that the alien was not the only enemy she had to face. Mm -hmm. From nature to other entities coming in, she had to fight different. She had a lot different of enemies things, to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I I didn't like the Predator's face redesign. You remember the original, how the Predator looked? Yeah. I like that more. Mm -hmm. I like his original face. I didn't like this 
this one. It, it <laughs> they try to make him scarier, but it just look just look weird. Yeah, I ain't like it. He wasn't really scary at all. No, but I'm just saying, like the the face. Yeah, you just I didn't like really the care. I like the original more. Um, the face than the classic more makeup prosthetic face mm-hmm. than the more CGI. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm still trying to figure out how this how bad um she was not Na- Naru. Naru Naru like this girl is like a hundred and something pounds how this is like a, a a David and Goliath type story to me this is exactly a David and Goliath story all of these men two hundred fifty three hundred pounds multiple. Mm-hmm. Could not defeat Predator. Everybody didn't see her as a threat. Right. Everybody. Right. And, and she, she knocked down everybody. Knocked out everybody. They they underestimated her. Mm-hmm. And she proved herself like, but you know what? I like how she studied. She kind of studied Predator a little bit. Mm-hmm. She She watched. She paid attention to certain things he was doing how he react mm-hmm. how he works she was able to like relay that information to them mm-hmm. and use that against that him. said knowledge mm-hmm. <laughs> against him okay right. he wasn't mm-hmm. ready no he wasn't ready no so i think it was a it was a good a good movie mm-hmm. i um enjoyed it um i think it has like people have different emotions about it because uh, when I've read like just certain things like the 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 men some men were saying like great thanks for showing us that we're worthless as men as a joke you know we be like that though what we are worthless <laughs> <laughs> and then the women were more of like Yes, you know, like girl, girl power. You know, mm. yeah, we could do, we could do things that men do. The like, problem was they didn't, they didn't listen to her when she was telling them something else is out exactly. there. Exactly, the Don't woman's go. voice is usually not heard. Right there, you go. It's more your be seen and not heard. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so um, I like. This is probably be a little bit spoiled. I like the reference to a certain classic Predator film. I won't say which one, but you'll see towards the end why I said that, if you watch the movie. Um, mm. What do you give Prey? Um, I'm going to give it uh, a 6 out of 10. A 6 out I'll, of 10? Okay, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Only because I feel like even though the story was different, I feel like this is something I've seen before. Mm. Where the the woman is the girl or the woman is underestimated and um, she has to basically prove herself that she's worthy or that... Basic, what's that movie we saw where the, the, the girl had to basically dress up as one of the men's soldiers and she stood in place for her father because her father was supposed to go that's uh, Mulan. That's Mulan? Yeah. yeah that's so Mulan. basically Mulan. Mulan had to basically play a boy mm-hmm. in order to be a soldier, in order to show like, look, I'm capable of doing this. Mm-hmm. You know, and then when they found out, it's kind of like they, they what they wanted to send her back. But it, it's different. But I'm just saying like different stories, but kind of like. It's not nothing I haven't really seen before. Mm-hmm. Where I feel you, you know. Yeah, that aspect. She she turns out to be the hero, right? At the end, right? So right. yeah. Well, it it, it it should be those stories like that should be constant because for women to realize you are worthy. Yeah. You know, even you though can do it. Yeah, it it was cool to see that. Well, did a woman defeat? A predator before i'm not sure i don't think so, so. now lathan worked with the predator mm-hmm. but she didn't have to fight him right other than that i never seen a woman beat potentially beat a predator right so that was a good look yeah yeah anyway 
I give it an eight and a half. Wait, an eight, 8. out 5. of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. Eight out of ten because of it was a good Predator series because the the, the recent movies have been super lame. <laughs> so I give it an eight because it was a shock factor of how good this really was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Cool beans. Cool beans. But yeah, I say seven out of ten. But overall, I I enjoyed watching it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not much of a movie person. person. She she don't she especially a movie where people get killed in various yeah. of ways. Mm-hmm. She don't like that. I like all of the Marvel movies. She like the Marvel movies mostly, but yeah. Mm mm. Uh uh. But yeah, yeah, and that's why I have you to help me out with these movies. So yay! <laughs> yeah, thanks. Me to over explain, right? Yeah, like what's going on? Well, right this was going on. We in this century in this place. They they ain't going down, and then you got to go over here to get there. And get, okay. And I, <laughs> another thing I loved about it is that, like, you know, during that time, there was no there was no medicines like we have now. They didn't have any aspirin, Tylenol. No technology. None of that. They would go to the Mother Earth and get these herbs and just, and like, here, put that on you. Put that little swab on you. You're going to be good. Yeah. Crush say, it up. Kind, yeah. Rub it on it you. It kind of reminded me of like Wakanda because, you know, that's what they did. Like, they would make drinks and elixirs and things like that they didn't go grab no let me go get you a heating pad mm-hmm. they ain't had none yeah so you had to work with what you have mm-hmm. they cook with these herbs they ain't had no seasonal <laughs> they ain't had no um salt and pepper <laughs> they probably had salt well uh, yeah they probably had salt but i'm you know what i mean yeah but yeah mm-hmm. so seven out of ten good movie mm-hmm. yeah that's so. not bad yeah. So I say together we'll give it it'd be like a eight point five. <laughs> together? I guess. Eight point five together. Alright. So do you want to call that? But call it then. There you go. Alright. Moving on. Time to slow it down. Oh wow. Chillax. What's Open that? your ears for some positive chakra. Yeah. yeah. And I got it for this week. Here we go. Sometimes you would never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I'll say that one again. Sometimes you would never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. That's good. Mm-hmm. That that makes me think about that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Make you think it. Can thing. you say it one more time? I'm gonna say that one more time. One more time. Sometimes you would never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Doctor Seuss. Doctor Seuss. Doctor Seuss said that. Do you think that's because you're living living it? living in the moment Mm -hmm. and so you don't sometimes you don't have time to like yeah you living in it so you're not thinking about it because it's happening as it exactly happened Uh, but until you think about it later on that it happened right or if you see a picture or a video and you're like oh that was so much fun right or look I did this and I did that right like the lady with the nails her nails is growing as it grow. Mm-hmm. She ain't gonna think about it until it grown two feet, and then you like, oh, look at the, the nail, memory of right. the growth. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Like the vegan lady, oh, she goodness. ain't gonna think about. That's a bad memory. But <laughs> she ain't gonna think about it until it happened. If mm-hmm. they get together in two years down the line, they get a divorce. She she bring that up as a memory because it happened. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, it's time for yell outs before we uh, uh head out. Mm-hmm. What's your yell outs, Max? Well, I only have one yell out, so I'm actually gonna yell out. Shout out to uh my business, Maximum Taste. Maximum Taste. So 
check out my website, MaximumTaste1.com. Follow me on social media on Facebook at MaximumTaste1. And yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. Shouting out my business, Maximum Taste. Mm-hmm. So you're shouting yourself out. I'm shouting myself out. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, rest in peace to Bill Russell, legendary basketball player. Oh. Rest in peace. And to Nichelle Nichols, she was a dancer and played uh, Aurora from the original Star Trek series. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to them. And, take and, a... and who else? Shout out to you, Max, for being on the show. Thank you for co-hosting with me. I yeah. love you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. I love you too. Anytime. Oh. oh. Anytime you need me. Have my I'll check. Be there. Have my check, and I'll be here. <laughs> All right. Um, so, just in case it bounce. Just in case it bounce. Blame AD. Yeah, yeah, because it bounced last time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you got it. You got it, though, right? The- I got this one. Right. It, 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 it took a while, but mm-hmm. I got it. Okay. So that's why I'm back. All right. Hopefully, this one come on time. Um, that was the show. That was the show. Quick and fast, fast and quick. Quick and fast, fast and quick. Hopefully we get AD back in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and then no. Sh- <laughs> uh, anyway, um, any any anything else? <laughs> anything else? Anything else? Anything I else? I got a DIY to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry this up. I gotta hurry up. I got a project I need to um, work on. Listen, folks, that's just what we do. And now it's time for us to pay some dues. We shall catch you on the flip to the. Flop, peace, love, and hair grease. Deuces. Deuces. Bye. Bye.